Okay, submarine friends, here we are. This is uh, cloudy Fairmont Hot Springs, BC today. So you can see I have the sub balanced almost perfectly. I need to add half the buoyancy of that trawl float yet. You can see that the, the strap is loose from it hanging on the crane. And um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, more testing needs to be done, of course. So I will raise it up and show you guys where the um, buoyancy level is when it's uh, sitting at the surface. Okay, now my wife is going to raise the submarine out of the pool. Okay, go ahead, love. So I just want to show you guys how friggin' slick this crane is. I can make one pound adjustments in a matter of a couple of minutes. Now, she's pretty nervous, so she's going really slow with the crane here. Keep going. So the crane is actually lifting 800 pounds of, or 1,000 pounds of ballast weight as well from the ballast tank. Okay, that's good. So now you can hear the ballast tanks are draining. Isn't that nice? Okay, so here is how far the submarine is in the water. Now that's with my weight simulated inside. So the freeboard is pretty much the same as it was uh, when it was in its old configuration. So um, I'm pretty darn happy with that. So one thing I'm not very, very excited about is how roly-poly the sub is at the surface with me in it which is perfectly okay except that I have to be able to get in and out so I'm gonna have to figure that out maybe uh, some kind of a gangplank off the boat I don't know we'll figure it out I'm uh, sure we can solve this okay so I'm standing on top of the submarine I've removed the weight that simulates my weight and I'm standing right out on the edge of the submarine here and you can see how much it lists. Not bad. It lists about four inches and I'm jumping on it and it's like no problem. Okay submarine friends, I'm going to step on it so you guys can see how stable it is. I'm really quite pleased with this. Watch this. That's not bad. I'm standing standing right on, out on the edge of the CT. That's perfect. There's about a three or four inch list. That's it. Then it stops. Beautiful. Hello submarine friends. Today was test the submarine in a test pool day. So it went fantastic. I could not be happier. The, um, the crane worked flawlessly. That thing is just beautiful. Uh, my wife was even running the crane, that was terrific. So uh, the propulsion system, I don't think there's going to be any problem with speed underwater. In fact, I think it's going to be faster than it was before with the additional batteries and the two extra motors I've installed. So that's these guys here. So man, I couldn't be happier with that. The freeboard has increased by about four, maybe five inches. That's terrific. Um, the balance, um, it took me probably 10 times lowering it, in, removing it, putting it back in the water, adjusting the weight to get it just right. But that's the beauty of the crane. Also the beauty of having a test pool. Uh, what else? Um, so the propulsion works perfect. Uh, it submerges very fast when I remove the plugs to bypass the valves. It uh, submerges in about 40 seconds. but um, when I put the valves back together, it takes quite a, quite a long time to submerge. So what I'm going to do, I mean, I could leave it that way, that would be fine, but pushing that button it seems like an eternity when you're trying to dive. So I'm just going to add three more electric solenoid valves so that I have four in total. Plus there will be the mechanical ball valve as well that's actuated from inside the sub. So this way, the um, Solenoid valve can fail, but the mechanical valve will still hold air in the ballast tank, one tank at least. Uh, this makes it very safe because, you know, if you have a failure with the solenoid valves, the mechanical valve will allow the submarine to hold air in the surface. So, uh, I don't know what else to do to it. There's really nothing to do. The thing works fantastic. It's stable on the surface, like really stable. 
not as stable as before, but before was ridiculously stable. So this is perfectly good. So uh, I'm just going to add the solenoid valves and go dive the thing. Ciao for now.